everyone, this is Tomo Daphne. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. We are continuing with Ibuki and Hiyoko's trial, and I bet it's gonna be just as crazy as I remember it. Suicide. Oh, yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death, tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There, there was, was blood, blood on Ibuki's slippers. slippers. Hold on, I don't I don't know what you're getting at. So if she faked her death and walked around the music bay and tampered with, with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's, there's no way she faked her death. There's, there's no, no way Buki committed suicide. You know, we you know, already right? <laughs> yeah. talking about that a while ago. Well, well, cry me a river. That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> okay, Kazuichi, where's that shut up button? Are you kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. <sighs> no. Wait a minute. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. So she definitely went up that step ladder and died. Up the long ladder, down the short rail. That's strange. I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints. There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Why didn't Ibuki leave behind any footprints? I think we already know about the smudge from where they... You think they also wiped off the stepladder? They must have wiped off the stepladder. Except for that one little bitty bit that they forgot. Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself. It's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. Except for the little bitty bit. Did you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! Shut up, Button. What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. To make me look like an idiot! Nagito Komaeda, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But we found Ibuki dead, didn't we? So Monokuma wouldn't have made two separate announcements if there weren't two separate dead people. He's not that much of a liar. He believes in law and order, as long as that law and order gets him ratings. So just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. Mine? Can't we like work together? We are on we are on this I won't tell you to do your best, but why are we all leaving this to me? We are a team. We should be working together. I'll definitely try. Where do you want me to logic dive to this time? There was some hidden clue in that video. I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. Obviously, honestly, this is like every group project I've ever been in. I'm the only one who actually saw that video, so I'm the only one. So I'm the only one who could do it. Honestly, I wish there was some way we could have recorded that video, the hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from the arguments thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. There is no blood on the step ladder. For instance, there was a certain item present where we investigated the crime scene that wasn't in the video. Would be the candle. Spot selection. So yeah, there was no blood stain on the step ladder. Which is definitely weird because... 
Kyoko should have been dead by then. There should have been blood on the stepladder that the killer never wiped out. It should have... If the video really did feature Ibuki hanging herself, that blood scene would have still been there. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any blood stains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. The Kyoko should have already been dead by that point, and there would have been blood on the stepladder. So what is the chronological order of events as it happens? So that video... And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the yeah, there's no recording function on the camera. But two step ladders. Why didn't I think of it? In my ass. I don't know. The supermarket. Everyone's favorite military surplus store. Honestly, I know supermarkets are supposed to have freaking everything, like you go to your local Walmart and like you'll find camping supplies and toys and groceries and TVs all under the same roof. This is taking it a little bit far. We have found multiple things that have been used to kill people, which is either a sign of these students' great ingenuity or the supermarket's batshit insanity. The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Shiaki said the stepladder was at a different place, but... If so, does that mean the video I saw is completely wrong? Which means the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime... Does it mean the killer used that surveillance camera unit to do something at that place? Hangman's Gambit! Let's go, baby! Uh, okay, that is a lot of spaces. What comes first? <laughs> Filming location. filming location was different, Akane. Have you not been listening? The video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. That means they must have stolen the surveillance camera from the music venue. The monitor is supposed to display footage what if it was removed from the music venue? How about that, Kazuichi? There's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. Because, like, there's, like... In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? I swear to god if the answer is they moved it, I am going to be so mad. The monitor and camera are part of the surveillance camera unit, and the hospital would have, should be filmed with the camera at the music venue. Unless they just did them swippity swappity back. If the video was filmed somewhere else, the killer was able to do that by Hangman's Gambit. Okay, I was that was wrong this time. Logic dive time, baby. They took it. They took it with them. That one has to be a glitch. I mean, there are ridiculous typos. That, that there is no way they were forgot the T and took. They took it with them. Honestly, you think they put the logic dive in a more difficult question, like 
I feel like any fi five-year-old would be able to figure out that they moved the camera from like age four. The monitor was left in the music venue, so yeah, they like. Yes. At least when I first discovered body. Actually, what did the scene of the crime look like? Was there a camera there? Or we put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Well, that's true. One more thing to the remaining monitor. They busted it up. The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was busted up. Probably. Yeah, I think the closest option would be th that they destroyed it. I see. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. Yeah, you'd, you'd just see like a pile of parts. So because Luigi would say, hmm, I could make something with this. And the moment when Jimmy left the music the venue, venue, the killer took the, killer put the camera they took and also bashed it to pieces. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed film somewhere else. else. Wasn't that what if? So like, if the monitor connected to that camera was in the hospital, it is entirely possible that they took the video in the hospital. Like, hey, yo, what up? I'm live streaming the faking of someone else's death directly upstairs from Hajime, the fool. Which means even if it was filmed in another, even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where was the video fi the film to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? The only possibility is that place inside that building. There's a bug crawling on my computer. It is super annoying. Oh boy, Hangman's Gambit! Yay! I guess it would have to be the conference room of the hospital, because that's where we found Chiaki sitting in the dark for no reason. So hold on. Conference room. Hey, 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 what happens if you put that in? Why do there have to be all these extra letters? They are trying to make it more difficult for us. Finally. All right, idiots, here's what happened. Do you think Monk would be more interesting if he said, all right, idiots, here's what happened? Yeah, the hospital. Well, what about that curtain? So what if... What if they took the curtain from the hospital, put it up in the music venue, to make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make clear what that work was. This this playthrough has created an uncontrollable urge to do the blee blee blee. I could stand with Kazuichi, not the most not the most appealing kind, but you know, we're doing what we have to do. The crime scene looked like the conference room. So, like, they took the curtain from. Which wasn't there before. They stole it from the supermarket. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain. The black is to represent death, and the dead bodies that are also right there. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Do you really have to bring me into this? Well, your face looks stupid. Come on, that's the best you could come up with. Welcome to the Daphne Ted School of Insults. I will be your teacher. In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it's is a black 
yeah, it's a, it's a blackout curtain. So it would make the room completely dark, and that's why we found Chiaki hanging out in the dark. Indeed, the floor of that room is... Made of wood. Is it? I haven't looked at the stage. Okay, it is. Why is the floor matched? And then they just put up a black curtain in the music venue. Is something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence? Probably. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. They... The reason the killer used that in the video. The candle? Because, like, it was pitch freaking black in the conference room, so they used a candle to light the place. And then they just, like, planted the candle on the stage? To make it look like the video was filmed there the whole time. In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, it's pretty strange. I guess it's not that strange. Like how uh, how Well yeah, and also the conference room has lights. Because like as we all know, this killer's going after an aesthetic. The main reason is probably it's careful with evidence. If they use the candle. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, I guess if you use the overhead lights in the hospital, it could be like, well, those look like hospital lights. That's not what you see in a music venue. Which means, are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually? I still think there was like one candle and they moved it. Or like if it was a locked room situation. Just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. Yeah, it was, if it was a locked room, how would the killer place the candle there? With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. Maybe. With that cheap ass camera, you won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches so, up, there should be no problem to say this is decided. Someone's going to jump in. Okay, fine. We're all in agreement. We're all good. If I found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. What? But it appears the killer already covered that up. So I didn't find anything when I went there. So we like... But there's no mistake. That's the yeah, we only didn't see a candle or a, a, surveillance camera. a clean stepladder. The motel would have been too far. And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising yes. turn of events for Hajime. Well, what does this have to do with me? You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. Okay, they made me out to be a fool. What about it? This isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before, but isn't it the other way around? I feel like that was there. No, I feel like I feel like the video was recorded after Ibuki was dead to make her think she had like just died, but really she had been there for a while. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue, which means there was a fake somewhere. That fake must have been the fake what? Oh, like that couldn't have been Ibuki walking up the step ladder. Cause you know, anyone looks the It was Yeah, the killer pretending to be Ibuki. Cause everyone looks the same with a bathrobe on and a hemp bag over their heads. Which only brings into question How did they climb up that step ladder with the hemp bag on their head? And Mikan turned up the thermostat to make, to like give her an excuse to say, oh, I can't figure out the time of death. It's too hot in here. No, Ibuki's been dead for a while. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set a trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so hard to make it go to the crime scene? 
actually made a fake video. There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility further, so, the natural killer's identity will reveal itself. You know what? You know what piece of, um, you know what piece of information we do need? If we are trying to figure out time of death, that's right, I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. Select someone. Hold on, which way is it? No, not you, not you, not you. Hello, Chiaki. Goodbye, Chiaki. Hello. So anyway, if we wanted to figure out time of death, I'm talking about you being the killer, me confess out. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Kyoko? I can't be a killer. I'm too the woo for that shit. Please, the uwu is just a cover so you can go on and commit heinous crimes. Yeah, she said earlier that when we were talking about how the killer could have possibly yeah, could have possibly revealed Hyoko's body in the span of 10 minutes. She said, that's too little time for a slow poke like me. I think she was trying to take, to push the blame off of herself, like, ah, oh, I am too slow to do anything in that amount of time, but really, she was incriminating herself. You were trying too hard not to make yourself look like the killer, and you only made it worse. Oh, because you were in the hospital. You were the only one allowed in the hospital. Anybody else could have gone in there, and they could have gotten sick. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? And if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. You said you were going to be on call. I was like, sick, bitch. I'm going to the conference room to fix someone else's death. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance. Put the bag on your head. But then, how did the bag get onto Ibuki's head? What, did she just like... How did the bag get on Ibuki's head? Because they made it clear there was only one bag. So, like, you live stream the video of you pretending to be Ibuki hanging yourself with the bag on your head. From there, Ibuki heads straight to the music venue, finds Ibuki dead with the bag on her head. You have to pass through the lobby. So it's think, impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Because like Hajime would have seen them. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious the I forgot what I was talking about. So that must, must mean that that leaves me gone. And I'll prove it it's with this manga. Boop, 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 boop. Can't you give a better defense than that? Where is your proof? She shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong! It's totally wrong! It's not what you think! It was a mercy killing! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I feel like there's some detail that brings it all together. Like, psych bitch really could have committed the murder. Wow, Gundam, you really- she already- she already has self-esteem issues, you did not have to say that. Well, how did 
that that does not explain the time the times actually that you have nearly crushed my chest with your thighs. This woman is the killer. No, I do not hate you, Mikan. Justice is blind. Everyone's ganging up on me. Well, shit, dude. <clears throat> I still think she did it. Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Be I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be so much easier if I was wrong. But I'd also leave this with no leads, so, like, if I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with in bed getting my. Can you hold on a minute? No! Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. Can't you just say? What are you saying? <laughs> There's definitely no way I can overlook the killer. Because you are a murderer! <laughs> huh? I thought it was suspicious all along. From the very beginning. You're the one who pointed out that Hyoko's tape was a compress. There's no one else in this room could have done that. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. If it's about the compress you told, it, told me about it with your own mouth, of course I know about it. I've been so focused on everybody else this trial, but I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Yes, it is. It's called Dagon Rub and Two Goodbye Despair. Yes, this is a game that's being broadcast on CBS. You're just a whiny little bitch. It's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive point. It's either gonna be the duct tape compress or the thermostat. Those both point directly to her. Yes, and it's called your face. Anyway, I am done with this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to blast that patriarchy, smash that like button, bomberman that subscribe button, and I will see you on Friday with more Danganronpa 2. Goodbye.